We are about a week into the month of December. The holidays are oh so close, and we are in the spirit down in Fayetteville as we take a live look at the home of the Woodpeckers during the baseball season. They're lit up down there. But I tell you what, it sure doesn't feel like the holidays. It's 61 degrees right now. It is not going to be cool overnight. It is not going to be cool tomorrow and feeling like December 7th. But it will be wet. Now, tonight, most of us are dry. We've got some drizzle, mist, and fog out there that doesn't show up on radar, but it's out there. And then we've got a little bit of rain up along the Virginia border, up in southern Virginia in Mecklenburg County. So that's not going to be around all night. In fact, there's going to be a lot of dry weather overnight and early tomorrow morning. But we will have better rain chances tomorrow, later in the morning and into the afternoon. And while we may not have cold temperatures or rain tomorrow morning. We could have some fog. This is your fog forecast showing our visibilities in miles and on a clear morning all of these numbers would say 10. But as you can see we expect reduced visibilities tomorrow. Check in with Bill and Laura. They'll be here starting at 430 with the rest of the team. So let's walk you through the day. One thing we're not going to have also tomorrow, uh, sunshine. It'll be a fairly cloudy day. And again, dry early on, but then by mid-morning through lunchtime and the afternoon, we've got scattered showers passing through, nothing severe, and then we'll dry out late tomorrow. While all that's happening and after the fog burns off, we're going to get up close to 70 degrees. Not a record high, uh, but definitely a little warmer than we normally are this time of year. And in case you do not get to see any sunshine tomorrow, I've got one for you right here. This is from earlier this week out at Nags Head. Thanks to Dave for getting up early for tonight's super sun rise. No word on whether or not he was in the water. I imagine in December that's something not a lot of us would do. Either way, beautiful shot along our coastline. So there's our zigzaggedy warm front that sent temperatures all over the place today. Overnight and tomorrow, that front will entirely lift up. And just like it gets cold after a cold front passes through, it'll get warm after that warm front comes through. And that's why we're going to be close to 70 degrees tomorrow. Now, if it slows down any, that'll mess with our temperatures. But we do expect some rain. So here's how we expect it to arrive. Again, early on, we're cloudy but generally dry. Showers coming in from the west starting to move in mid-morning. Here we are at lunchtime, scattered showers. Not for everybody, but for a good amount of us. And it won't rain all day, but a couple different times at your house, yes, that is definitely possible. Four o'clock, showers start to dissipate. That continues through six o'clock, and then we're back to mostly dry, albeit cloudy weather by late Wednesday. Then on Thursday, it's my favorite day the rest of this week because it will be dry. We'll get some sunshine in here, and it will still be mild with temperatures in the 60s. But then there's a cold front on Friday. More on that in a second. One final note on what's going on in the tropics. Nearly 2,000 miles away from us, we still have that disorganized area of showers that has a 50% chance of development. And listen, I'd say if it doesn't happen tomorrow, by Friday it's going to be in some much colder water, and there's no hope for that one. But either way, no impact here. What we will have tomorrow, some scattered showers. Then a drier day Thursday and a cooler wet day Friday as the cold front comes through. That cold front will keep us in the 50s this weekend. And as we look at your exclusive 10-day forecast, it'll keep us in the 50s most up next week, too, with a little more rain back Wednesday and Thursday.